Hello Pico people and welcome to this new Picotron GUI lesson. Today we're finally learning about text editors and text input in general. So I'm going to do everything in the main Lua this time just for simplicity since we don't need to do that many things for this lesson. So as always we create our GUI and we update and draw everything in our functions. So for this lesson, I want to create a window and I want it to be something like this. Now to add a text editor to our GUI, we just create a new variable called text bar, for example, and we do GUI attach text editor. And uh, this text editor is the same as every other container we did previously. I'll make it with 190 and save. 15. So now, as you see, it finally added something. If we touch on this, we can now write inside here. So just by doing this, we created a text bar. And how do we manage this? We can pretty much customize everything about this. We can give it a different background color. For example, let's give it 19. All right. Not only that, but there's also foreground color which is basically the font color we can give it something like 17 for example and as you see now our text has a different color if we want to modify the cursor color which is pink we can just give it another value like cursor color with a 17 value and now our cursor color has a 17 value how can we change the selected color? Well, there's also cell call. Let's make it one. As you see now, it has a different color. Now we can also give it some different margin values. We have margin top for that. We can make it zero, for example, and our text is attached at the top. Let's make it three or maybe four. Yeah. We like it here, it's perfect. And uh, there is also margin left. We can make this 20, for example. And now it starts there. But we don't want it. Another thing we have is key callback. It's just a method where we can give it different keys to check. Like, for example, enter. Okay. Enter needs a function. And this just means that every time the user clicks enter on the keyboard, something will happen. What can happen? Let's do something like this. Let's create a user string. Then we want to print this user string. Right, so if we make it hello, we have hello here. Now, going back to our key callback, on enter, we want to save our text bar string in uh, a local variable and we do it by doing this text bar get text and here we have to put the row we want to get so now we can make user string equal to this text bar string so i'm writing something here like hello world and when you click enter this changes yeah well, what's happening? I'm not cleaning the screen. <laughs> yeah. What's up? <laughs> there is another very useful thing we can do. You see, you have to click to enter in something, but what if uh, we want to do this automatically? After declaring it, we can do something like this. Set keyboard focus and we can set this to true its keyboard by doing this it's automatically focused so let's say for example that after clicking enter we want to set it to false hello guys now this gets set to false another cool thing we can do is setting this text we did get text, but there is also a similar thing that sets the text. We do it like this and pass it a string parameter, which is the text we want to set in the text bar. In this case, we want to make it empty again, right? And it gets empty. 
We can even comment this out and now Right? So as you imagined, we're actually implementing the same text editor in which we're writing into the code. It's the same thing because if I comment our styling we made, it becomes exactly the same. You see? It's the same text editor. <laughs> right? It's this one. We can even have it multi-line exactly like this one. How do we do it? First of all, we have to change its height. So let's make it 50 for example. You can even do 150, yeah. Yeah, but obviously, every time we click enter, it doesn't go on a new line. It doesn't do its usual job. Now, it does. This also has an has search attribute. Let's make it a bit bigger just to see it. So I made a bigger window to show that. Now our has search should work. I do command help, hello, and here it is. It works. The same as here. Another parameter is block scrolling. If we want, we can even do this. Let's make it to true. Now it isn't scrolling no more. Another cool thing it has is Syntax Highlighting. We can use it if we want to make an editor. Now, function and <laughs> gets colored. It even has show line numbers. All right, but we don't like the color. That's why we have line call. <laughs> Let's make it 17. Yeah. All right. And there is also this crazy thing, which is embed pods. Let's make it to true. Now, if I draw something here and copy this sprite, I can paste it here. As you can see, we can do a lot, really, really a lot with this. And obviously, this has all its events we've seen in the past, right? It has click, it has tap, it has update, it has everything, because it's a container. I hope this lesson has been useful to you guys, and see you in the next one, where we're going to see all the Picotron events and how to use them especially some things like hover and drag. If you guys got any question or any feedback, please comment down below and see ya.